Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 865G10. To open this laptop, you have to undo just five captive Phillips head screws. Then, pry the bottom panel with a lever tool in the zone behind the hinge cover. The last step is to work your way around the sides and the front. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. There is a decently sized thermal pad on the inside of the metal bottom plate for cooling the Wi-Fi card. This laptop has the base 51.3 watt hour battery variant. You can also opt for the optional 76 watt hour model. To take it out, detach the connector from the mainboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 11 hours of either web browsing or video playback. The result is good. To achieve that, you have to select the HP Optimized, Modern Standby Power Plan, that can be found in the Control Panel's Power Options submenu. Also, you have to apply the Balanced Preset in the Windows Power and Battery section. The memory section is protected by a metal shroud. According to HP, the two slots fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5. 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 256 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The W1 slot on the left is for optional LTE or 5G connectivity. Storage-wise, you get just one M.2 slot for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. There is a cooling pad on top of the SSD. We found a small thermal pad for additional cooling below the NVMe. The cooling looks simple, but it's fine for a laptop without a dedicated GPU. It has one fan, a heat pipe, one top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.